Yeah! Sonic! Oh, it's been a while since I've done a Sonic game. Uh... So I've beaten this game like a million trillion times already. Um... Both normal and uh, Encore. What I'm doing is, uh, I'm just playing through Sonic mode. Mania mode is Sonic. Uh, I guess I should have said Mania mode, not normal mode on Twitter. Uh, it's a little loud. How's that sound, like, coming through? I'm so bad at judging my own streams. I, like, have to listen to it to, to know what's going on. Oh, that actually sounds really good. I gotta stop second-guessing myself. So, I'm in the mood for something fairly quick that'll take me only one or two streams, and I'm already doing a shorter stream since it's already 12.40, and I'm probably gonna stop around 3. Uh, so I figured I'll replay Sonic Mania, even though I have a bunch of other games to finish. I actually do have a slight reason for doing this, it's because my offline image for my stream is, is Sonic Mania related. It's something I made, like, by hand with pre-made assets and stuff. And I never streamed the game because I didn't have the ability to, so now I can, and I'm going to because this Sonic game is friggin' awesome. So I've played through this game, as you could tell, quite a few times. I only have two, uh, two files left, actually. Oh, right, I could change Sonic's ability. Uh, we'll just keep it. We'll just keep everything as is. We'll do Sonic and Tails together. Normal mode, Encore mode is a little, uh... I played through it fully once, and it's it's a pain. Some of the remix stuff is not, uh, not that great. Well, no, it's not even that it's not great, it's just, it's, it's difficult. Getting the emeralds in Encore mode is hard. I would say the coolest part about Encore Mode is the fact that you get all five characters, and also that you get to play through uh, Angel Island Zone. But other than that, it's, it's, eh. I prefer Standard Mode. Uh, wait. Okay, so every button... Wait. Alright, yeah. I just, I just gotta get used to this. It's been a while. Drop dashes... Okay, hold down the A button in the air, or B button. I believe setting the game style to S3 and K makes you have the in-air, like, shield. And setting it to CD lets you do the super peel out by holding up and, uh, charging. But you don't get the, um, you don't get the drop dash in that case. Hello again, Satine. Alright, this, uh... This minigame. So this replaces the, uh... The one that used to be here, because I beat all of them. Uh, how do I drop this again? So yeah, there's a, there's a Blue Spheres game in this that's literally just Blue Spheres, but, uh... I've, uh... I've beaten it. I've beaten all of them and gotten all the gold medals. So I just have this slot machine game that they added in with Encore. I forgot. Can I do the? Uh... Yep, I can. at the top of the stage. I have my issues with this game, but this is very much... my. I think this could like easily top my favorite classic games with S3 and K. And CD. CD... CD isn't even really my favorite... one of my favorite Sonic games. It's just fun because of the weird, like... 
it, it, how different it is to the other Sonic games. Uh, I am completely clueless as to where, uh... special rank could be. I think I may have missed it, actually. Yeah, I think I missed the most obvious secret ring in the game. You know what? Let's let's take that over. Let's do, and instead of trying it the fancy way, let's just do it the fast way. Because at least I know I could get an emerald that way. This game does have the you only have one shot at each emerald, and if you don't get it, uh, you have to wait until you either beat the game or uh, start over. can just go ahead and fuck himself there. There we go. The easy ring. I love these special stages. This is probably, like, the, everything... Despite some, like, minor, like, stage design flaws, I would have to say, like, all of the concepts in this game are some of my favorite. Special stages, uh, zone, the, the types of zones they picked... I am in agreement that there should have been more new zones than old zones, but, uh, what we got was really good. Except the last zone. I'm not super big on the last zone. I feel like the last stage in particular is very long. I feel these special stages are pretty balanced, too. Uh... At least, um, in this mode. Encore mode, on the other hand, is a little... a little shitty. There's some fun Easter eggs in this game, too, and secrets. The cheats are really fun to, uh, to mess around with. There's a cheat that lets you get, like, flying Sonic, uh, Super Sonic. Like in the old games. Or, like, in, uh... Not in the old games. The old games, he didn't fly. But it lets you fly with them. Like, in the newer games, that's why. Uh, so why Sonic Mania? I was bored. I wanted to replay something easy and that I know, uh, I can beat. Um, and also... Since, like, what, like, two years ago, three years ago, I've had that Sonic Mania end card, like, when I'm offline, that I, like, made... Uh, someone ripped the assets and made, like, custom assets, and I used that to make the, uh, the offline card. And I realized I never streamed Sonic Mania, so I might as well stream it now, while I'm bored. Also, this is a very short game, so I'd be able to beat this in, like... If I stream for two hours tonight, probably in two streams... 
Because it was either this, or I was thinking of going back to Shovel Knight Showdown, just because I haven't finished story mode with everyone, but... I didn't know if I was, uh... If I was entirely up for that just yet. Ooh, there's a ring. How do I get that? Oh, shit! Whoa. How do you get over there? Oh, wait a minute. Wow, I'm a dummy. I'm gonna be honest, I had no idea that ring was there. Yeah, fun fact, most of the objects in these uh, stages are not interactable. So fun fact, you don't need to hit Mach 3 to get these, uh, to get the orbs. Or to get the orbs, to get the emeralds. Mach 2 is fast enough. Which is very useful in the last special stage. Being Mach 3, uh, fucks you in that stage. Staying in Mach 2 in, in special stage 7 is actually way better. Yeah, I guess you just don't get sent to, uh... Uh... Shit. I guess you just don't get sent to the, uh... Blue Spheres after you've gotten all of them. Because the Blue Sphere stages did nothing. Beating them would give you a silver medal. Beating them with all the uh, rings would give you a gold medal. And it did nothing except, uh... Actually, no. The silver medals unlocked features. But, um, gold medals did nothing. I guess now that I've unlocked everything, it just defaults to the Sonic uh, Mania Encore special stage. Or bonus stage, whatever you want to call it, since special stages are the Emerald stages. God, this this makes it really hard to grab tails.
Yeah! In case you're wondering, I have a pretty lax opinion on Sonic. I'm definitely not, uh, super critical of his games. There's there's aspects of them I don't like, but especially when it comes to classic, I'm generally like, ah, whatever. Sonic 2, I think, is the only one that legitimately frustrates me, just because the end is so hard. I loved all the Sonic Advance games on the Game Boy Advance and stuff. Those those were really fun. Brotherhood. Hey, even I found... I, I bought Dark Brotherhood. I played through it. It had its moments. The soundtrack was garbage. The story was weird. The gameplay... The the, ma the overworld was dumb. Battles were okay. I got mild enjoyment out of that game. Especially Amy pretending that she had a boyfriend the entire time. Cheese out, Strat. I already lost my rings. No point in hiding, and no point in trying now. Nice. Good times, good music. Not my favorite Sonic 2 zone, but definitely one of the top ones. I played this game in like two years and I still remember where everything is. Oh no, I missed the rings. Okay. I didn't fall down the pit, that's all that matters.
Alright, we're good on rings. Kind of focus on the orbs. Mainly associated chemical plant zone with visits to the dentist because they the Genesis equivalent of a Play Choice 10. Oh, nice. I, uh. I'm trying to think back of, like, what my association with certain things was as a kid. I remember, um. When I was a kid, I was I always associated Green Hill Zone with, um. With my neighbors because they had a Genesis and also with Nick Arcade because there were always kids trying to beat that, like, arcade version of Sonic 1. And they were doing, like,. They were always bad at it. They were always, like, complete garbage. Crud. Whoa, no you don't. I'm at the end of the zone. That's the, that was the last checkpoint. Oh wait, no, never mind. We got this. Actually, is there? Oh wait, no, that's it. Oh yeah, there is something. Hidden. Is it a ring? Yeah. It, oh my god. I don't think I ever know that. I don't think I ever checked for that one before. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that wasn't the smart choice. We're in the clear. Shit. No, we're not. Making the wrong choice there. Ah, oh, fuck, I, I lost. Garbage. I don't really 
need to continue. Continues in this game are kind of pointless because they just you just you could just start at the beginning of a zone anyway. This isn't Sonic 2. Oh, man, I think I only know where one more special ring is in this uh in this zone. Oh come on! That was an insult to injury moment right there. And no, I can't go back down there, it's already gone. Worst platforms. Actually, this kind of makes me want to play uh, Sonic uh, Generations, too. I might have to do that at some point. I, I don't doubt that my computer can easily handle that. seen a lot of that in the next zone. Love the uh, aesthetics of Act 2 of this. That's also really cool in general, what they do with this game's returning zones. Like, Act 1 is very similar to the original, while Act 2 uh, either has new stuff, or, um, or is based off of, like, a zone from a different game. Only Knuckles can break that. Oh, shoot. I saw those were all down. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Every time with that enemy.
All right, take another whack at this one. I missed that. I think the arrow just makes you automatically go up a, uh, a mock. So it's very useful, because it speeds up the uh, process dramatically. And it's usually in a place where, like, if you miss it the first time, you're not getting it again. If you know what you're doing, this goes a lot quicker. I can't remember what special stage six is like, though. I think that's the one with the islands. That's a, that's kind of annoying. Special stage seven is a, is a piece of cake, though, if you know what to do. Now for my third or fourth favorite, nah, probably fifth favorite uh, puzzle game as the boss here. Oh my god, I'm so used to actually playing Puyo now that playing this version is very, like, clunky. <laughs> it up actually let me just uh fix that real quick Makes me want to play Puyo Tetris on stream, but at the same time, I don't know what I would stream of that. I'm not doing story mode again, and I'd be awful at online. Also, I think online's kind of dead in the Switch version. There we go. This is one of the new zones. Incredibly fun. Actually, I missed something back there. There we go.
Gotta go even faster. The fact that that's not what the song is called is is a, a damn waste. Tails just swooshed me right in there. Oh yeah, this is the one with the uh, island hopping in the middle. Though not as bad as Encore's version. Also, there's no guardrails in this, I'm almost positive. Yeah. Except for right there, because they know that you're going to jump right into those rings. Nice thing about no barriers, though, means you could just cut corners like that. And got it. Because if the barriers are there, you can't jump over them. They just pinball bounce you off. music's really good. Uh, T. Lopez is, is a great composer. And this song got into Smash, too. So his music got into Smash, which is... must be a damn dream to come true for him. Actually, I know it is, because he said so on his Twitter. one again. Shit. It can be random. Sometimes it's not the last one. Sometimes it'll be the first one. That's weird. Usually in the last one, uh, you don't get rings. At least not to my knowledge. Then again, it's been literal years. Yeah. 
Ugh. Ugh. I don't remember where any of the secret rings in this stage are. Eggman Pirate TV. He's not a very good person if he does that. What? Pull out that last bit. Pretty sure that sound effect is taken directly from uh, Sonic Advance. That's another series I, I was going to stream more of, and I only did the first game. I feel like there's something hidden there, but... Does not look like it. Where'd you go? <laughs> eh, no. Oh. There's like little bouncy things there, I didn't even notice that. Gallop Lotto. Alright, I forgot about this. This is neat. This does. It just... Oh, makes lightning show up. The other one's wind, which pushes you uh, upwards. So the date, the number on that TV is actually a date. It's a uh, July twenty second, two thousand sixteen. I think that's when they announced Sonic Mania, and also the, the static in the background is a uh, static that appeared during that uh, live stream. 
when they were having like technical difficulties. <laughs> Oh man, flying battery. So one of the coolest zones in terms of aesthetic. Not my favorite zone in the game. Uh, Act 2 of this zone is... kind of notorious for being a bit long. If you don't know how to speedrun it, you're generally going to get to the boss in timeout if you have timeout enabled. immune to fire at least. You just have to be super careful here. a neat touch. Uh, if you have the magnet shield, the platforms just uh, pull you up. I don't think there's a speed secret ring over there. I think that's just a, uh, a power up of some sort. This is the dangerous one. It's very easy to get instant killed here. Right before a checkpoint, too. that was there. It's weird that they hide that. Uh-oh. Hit that a little too slow. I actually didn't know that was there. Is this the, uh, no, yeah, it's down here. I think this is the garbage pit. The secret? No? Did I misjudge this, maybe? Yeah, I think I did. Wait a minute, no, I didn't. There's definitely a secret over here somewhere. 
There it is. And there's, yeah, there's that thing at the end to catch you. Alright, final special stage. So, I think I just have to get Mach 2, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, I'm not mistaken. I know what I'm doing. This power load on rings at the beginning. Hit Mach 2, and then just cut corners. And there you go! Easy as hell. Classic supersonic deal. Uh, 50 rings, jump, and you got it. Alright, it's actually a button now. Yeah, they don't make it jump. They make it X. One of the best supersonic themes in the series, too, in my opinion. Also, I don't have to wait for this thing to do the th make the garbage pile thinner or the yeah, thinner and taller I could just jump that high now This is the zone I'm not I'm not a fan of. It's rather rough. Great music, but it's just a very long zone if you get caught up. Like that. Oh, why did I go down actually? Down's the worst choice. Oh, nice. I didn't know that was there. Um, so yeah, if you grab any special rings uh, after, you after you get supersonic, you just get 50 rings, so you can transform immediately. Oh, this, this is the annoying thing. Yeah, I gotta wait for that to turn off. Wheel Gator's mobile base. It does, yeah, I guess, a little bit. It's been a while since I've played that Mega... Uh, which, what X game even was that? Two? No! X2. Shit. I second-guessed myself. Oh, wait. That's not anything. <laughs> Shit. I'm getting careless now that I've gotten all the, all the special rings. Enemies are, those enemies are from, uh, Wing Fortress Zone from Sonic 2.
Also, I love how uh, when you're supersonic, if you crouch, it's it's Sonic goes into just like a holding the ground position instead of uh, his normal crouch animation. There we go. That's why I couldn't get forward. And again, this is one of my favorite supersonic themes. Uh, it definitely, it's definitely longer than some of the other ones, so it doesn't get as repetitive too quickly. This might make the boss a little, a lot quicker. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. You just bounce it the entire way immediately. So, this boss you need to hit into, uh, spikes. Usually by, by bouncing on it with this thing, but... Actually, this might make it harder. There we go. This boss, yeah, this boss unfortunately takes a long time. Normally. With Super Sonic, it kind of trivializes it. You do not knock it this far with regular Sonic. It's getting crushed is still an issue, though. Look at that. I, look look how quickly I went through that stage. It still took me five and a half minutes. And I think this I think time restart restarts when oh no it doesn't, never mind. That was me playing like well. The first time I beat this stage, I think I timed over like by the time I reached the boss. Is the next stage a new one or is that the stage after? Oh, this is a new one, yeah. Press garden. This stage is awesome. This is probably the best of the uh, of the new zones. These things, there's actually a power up in there, but I don't think there's any way to get it with anyone other than Knuckles or Mighty. Also, my frame rate's getting kind of choppy. I don't know why. It's it's happening even on Streamlabs OBS. That's kind of worrisome. I've noticed, like, let me check my stream, actually. Let me, let me actually see how it looks on stream. I've noticed, like, let me check my stream, actually. Well, it actually looks fine on stream. It looks fine on stream and fine on the VOD. It's just the capture tends to slow down after a while. I'm not sure why. I don't think there's anything I could really do about that. I'm also watching- I'm not watching this on the TV, I'm watching this on my computer. Because it'd be very difficult for me to stream off of my TV and do this.
I think I'm supposed to. Oh, wait, yeah, here we go. A right there. All right, so the A's always stay active. The T's, uh, the T's do not. That's the first time that enemies ever actually gotten me. Okay, these don't follow the same conventions now. These A's are, uh... They're doing whatever the hell they want. Actually, maybe not, because they were still on. They, they didn't shut off that entire time. Who's to say? Mistaken, this is an infinite loop here or something. I'll just trivialize this. few feet and then and then just kill all your momentum this stage is probably the this is like the best stage in the game in my opinion damn close to it if not the best this gives me heavy freedom planet vibes which is funny because freedom planet started as a sonic fan game that was stupid to me There's a saw blade there. Oh, that's not in the foreground. I thought that was it. I thought I could jump on that. You can't. Oh, you can't jump on that one either. What 
What am I doing? Am I going the wrong way? There we go. That gimmick doesn't get annoying, and that's 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 very nice. That ice gimmick could easily be one of the worst in the game, and it's uh it manages to not overstay its welcome. Stage is really neat. Yeah, it is. Sonic's not really going to help here. Wait, has he actually hurt you? Oh, that's how. He does the things from Metropolis Zone. I don't remember him throwing that many before. They might change that. I know they changed the next zone's boss heavily in the uh, Encore update. Or the Plus update. Whatever you want to call it. Stood there and let it happen. One of the two uh, Sonic CD stages in the game. This is the halfway point, too, after you beat this. There's, yeah, there's 12 zones, and this is the sixth. thing is not a spring every time I play this stage. Hey, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. 
That's why I made that fancy new alert. Do you have a bird puppets? Uh, no, I don't have bird puppets. I do have a costume, though. Not, uh, not with me currently. It's, uh... Should I play Words with Friends 2 app? No, uh, don't think I'm gonna. Maybe some other time. I'll consider it for a future stream. I'm getting a strange sense of deja vu. Like, I don't know what's bringing it on, but like something is just suddenly like triggering some sort of memory. Not even a memory, just a feeling. So my schedule is, uh, when can I see your costume? Uh, if you go on my Twitter, uh, it's actually my pinned tweet. Uh, the link to my Twitter is, uh, below the stream link. It's only a partial for now, but I'm getting, a f I'm getting it fully, uh, fully developed by, uh, hopefully by July. With the way things are now, though, that might not even ha even happen. Excuse me. So it's kind of, uh, it's kind of up in the air. Fighting it today. I like this touch right here. The Sonic CD, uh, the at the animal cage and the uh, warp. Actually, a special ring in this room, like up at the top, or not? Might be the other one. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, this zone is incredibly short. If you uh, Move optimally. It takes less than a minute to beat it with speed run strats. to get here, Metal. I feel like that transition wasn't that long, uh, 
previously. I love this, uh, I love the background effects here. They also read. this is the boss they redid the most when they did the Encore update, if I'm not mistaken. Again, with the I'm not mistaken, like, uh, stuff. I don't know why I say that, I know it's changed. I've played this game enough, ow. This part's exactly the same, though. This part, I believe, is different. It takes less hits to beat this, if I'm not mistaken. That one, that that one though is for, is true. That one, I don't, I can't actually remember if it, if it was uh, less hits or whatever. Also, the little uh, the little robot is a uh, Silver Sonic from Sonic 2 Game Gear, which makes the same noises too. Oh, when you hit it, those things can hit him now, too. That was it. Before, it had to be uh, Silver Sonic itself. Now it could be um, the little bullets that fly out of it. This, this phase used to take a long time if you couldn't line these up right. This phase is completely different. Originally, so, uh, Metal Sonic would just chase you. This time, he actually turns giant. And of course, it's a risk because the floor is crumbling behind him. Though Tails kind of did all the work there. Yeah, originally the Phantom Ruby was not a part of this fight at all. Ugh. This cutscene is also different. I don't think this cutscene was here originally. Yeah, I really gotta work on the speech impediment crap. Speaking of, that reminds me, uh, the newest round of, uh, Now Voice This is over. I'm guessing the, uh, winner's gonna be announced in a couple days. Or the qualifiers for the next round will be. Get off me. This was the one zone I had spoiled for me before I played this game. And I was really upset because I was like, oh no. I want that could have been a great uh surprise if I didn't know about it. Cause I mean let's let's be honest, who doesn't love this zone? Hey, Bites of Dust, how you doing?
to do here. I just have to go up. Okay. We're good. Bye, Tails. Waste the supersonic energy. Also, look, there's Eggman right there. That's awesome. So, in, in a neat twist, uh, you control the Egg Robo, and you just gotta avoid getting hit by bombs while sucking Eggman up. So I'm not doing. You can also drop uh, those. B oh, B does the same thing, okay. I have to be very careful, I have no, uh, no rings. Why would you think giving Sonic the, uh, the Eggmobile was a smart idea? Why are you still awake? Uh, I don't know, man. I'm still awake because my life revolves around a 1.30 to 10.30 work schedule. And I'm just a night owl in general. Also, hey, what's up? Go. Oh man, 
You're on the... Wait, where are you? You're not on the west coast. Oh, wait, it's in the... Oh, it's nine... It's nine in the morning for you. Okay, never mind. I'm like, where is it still nine... Where is it still 9 p.m.? Good at that. Jam. You wish you could play Sonic Mania? It's on everything. If you have a half decent computer, you can definitely play it. Oh, you only have your phone? Oh, that sucks. I don't think- is Sonic Mania on phone? I know that some of, um, some of the Sonic ports are on, uh, various phones. I don't know if, um, Sonic Mania is, though. I do hope you get to play it. It's a good game. Another, uh, another gimmick boss. Thankfully, the hitbox on uh, Eggman here is very generous. Oh god, my frame rates are starting to tank a bit. Change this a bit. I don't remember this, uh, all those obstacles being there. Up. They definitely made this harder. Yeah, without a doubt. Oh, 
Ah, oh, I should've gone up. You finished Sonic 1 and 2 with all the emeralds. I finished Sonic 1 with all the emeralds. 2? Two? 2 is ridiculously hard to get all the emeralds in and still beat it. Sonic 2 five times, wow. Oh, right, this is... Now I remember here. Oh, man. Forgot how long this boss is. Oh, this is not good. Uh, please stop. Please stop. I was like, wait, don't you fight the Act 1 boss of Hydrocity at some point? Sonic 3, 2. Nice. I don't think I've ever done a perfect uh, 16 Emerald... Or, sorry, 14 Emerald Sonic 3 and Knuckles run. Tails just waits there. Oh, here we go. Third new zone. Um, yeah, Knuckles is here. And he gets knocked off by Knuckles. That's important because Knuckles has his own version of the stage. Which is what uh, you, all take, you all do in uh, Encore mode. You don't have the Sky Chase zone stage instead. Every other character in normal mode goes here, though. Imagine getting Rick rolled. It's happened. Every time I play Chrono Trigger. I don't know why, but when I just brought up that Chrono Trigger Rick roll thing right now with Robo. For some reason, I just thought of, uh, Hitomi's, uh, Somnium that I had so much trouble on in Somnium Files. It is not worth using Super Sonic here.
Uh, my power just flickered. That's not good. Shit! Should've used supersonic. I got distracted by the power flickering. Actually, I better check to make sure I'm still online here. Okay, yeah, it says I'm still online. Looks like I am too. Okay, good. Good, good. Honestly, I'm thinking I might stop after this zone. Uh, I still have, what, four zones to go after this? And I'm definitely not doing it within the next 20 minutes. And I want to leave, like, a substantial amount for tomorrow, or for Tuesday, or whenever I stream next. Next stream will probably be tomorrow, if I, if I can get myself to do it. And it will be the rest of this, and then probably returning to Shovel Knight Showdown, and finally finishing that. I'm gonna see if I can, like, clear out some backlog stuff uh, over the next couple weeks before Trials of Mana comes out. Tails can just build another one. I can push this. I'm pretty sure this zone's supposed to be an homage to the uh, Sand Hill zone. That never happened. That was supposed to be in, uh, Sonic 2. Because, I mean, it has the, uh, chasing enemies that were seen in screenshots for it. And it's got Casino Night, uh, vibes, too, with the, uh, the flippers. It's our favorite bird. Yeah, those things. Those things were in the, uh, in the beta footage of Sonic 2. Eh. I think I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I am. weird. Bonk. Speaking of PS, uh, yeah, sorry, something you get your PS4. Speaking of that, uh, I really have to finish Kingdom Hearts 3 at some point. Oh, thank you for the follow. Wait, what just hit me? Oh, that thing. Room. 
I really need to finish Kingdom Hearts 3 at some point. Maybe that'll be a backlog. Nah, probably not, because I want to do the uh, DLC too. I'm going to need substantial time for that. Damn it. Love the Game Gear sound effects for that. It's a lot harder to spam him. I think he's invulnerable for the first few frames he's out now. are left three wait two wait no no that's not right oh yeah no it's four okay i forgot the one that comes after this next one uh i mean if i kept going i could finish it tonight but not within a half hour and i really don't want to go past uh three i also don't want to leave like only like two zones left because then that'll be very lopsided this is a pretty good place to stop. I think I could beat this tomorrow in about the same amount of time it took me to get here. And uh, then I can move back on the Shovel Knight Showdown. Uh, but yeah, it was fun. I had a lot of fun streaming today. It sucks that I only get one day off this week, but uh, it's due to uh, me switching my schedule to Monday to Friday. So I'm going to get Saturday and Sunday off starting this week, but I don't get Monday this week off. So I'm kind of SOL there. I think it auto saves. Yeah, it does. Well, Ocean Zone, got everything I need. You beat Sonic Forces? Oh, that's good. Can I switch the option? Hold on. So, look, if I put that on now and that. Oh, wait, no, that won't actually work. I just want to see. Will this, will this actually work on a save file I'm already in the middle of? Yep, Knuckles is there. And I have my Sonic 3 uh, Insta Shield. But no drop dash. Maybe I'll switch the ability next stream to kind of shake it up. And maybe I'll keep my Knuckles mode on. Uh, and then the CD ability. The CD ability is the super peel out. Which is hold up and press A. It's a little faster than the spin dash, but it doesn't give you the uh, invulnerability. Uh, Encore mode, if you haven't played this, it's a harder mode where you you actually play as all five characters at once, kinda. Um, it's a lot harder. Well, it's not a lot harder, but all the zones are, like, different colored. Um, the emeralds are harder to get. The platforming's remixed. And there's the, uh, Angel Island zone at the very beginning. I might play that sometime. Uh, extras. So you can play, um... Blue Spheres. This is what would show up in the special stages if I hadn't already beaten all of them. It's just simply uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Blue Spheres. Uh, control pad's a little weird. It's not kind of responding to what I need it to. Anyway, there's two versions of it, Original and Mania, and Mania has, like, extra gimmicks to it. Also, the Mania stages you actually don't play during the normal game. You only play these, uh, from this menu once you've beaten all of them. Let's see if I can find any of the extra gimmicks. The Mania stages are harder, and, uh, I think they're randomly, not randomly generated, but... 
I actually don't know what the uh, criteria behind them is. Uh, never mind. Couldn't show you anything special there. Uh, mean Bean is exactly what it sounds like. Let you play the, uh... Let you play a, uh... Puyo against the computer or a second player. Very simplistic. No real secrets to this. I don't mind getting a quick round of uh, Puyo on board. Uh, come on. Purple. This game is a fickle mistress. Also, it's kind of laggy. There we go. Oh, wait. Shit. Somehow my combo got ruined. This always happens with me and Puyo. <laughs> through that. I was like, uh, you know, it's probably better just to... It's the best of three, so... Kind of kicking my ass, actually. There we go. Oddly enough, this game uses, like, Puyo, like, two rules, I think. It seems to not immediately, uh, counter. Or maybe I'm, maybe I'm just mistaken, I don't know. This isn't too hard, honestly. I'm, I'm overestimating the CPU in this game. <laughs> yeah, that's that. Um, DA Garden, I think, is just a sound test with a, um, with a spinny Sonic Island. Um... It's just, it's a reference to Sonic CD. Staff credits is self-explanatory. And there you can see all my medals from the Blue Sphere stages. Gold means I beat it with a, uh, with all the rings. So I got all the golds. Uh, so I'm special and you can praise me. Uh, competition's just a two-player mode. I think there's something new to it. From the plus update, but I can't remember. Let me just, let me show you how broken Ray can be. It's gonna range between 60 and 80 degrees to end down in Georgia today, wow. Alright, so Ray and Mighty are two characters from an old arcade Sonic game that kind of made their appearance in some other media, but I, I don't know the full story. Ray is incredibly broken, if you know how to use him.
because he can not only glide, but he glides fast. Oh wait, that was the wrong way, shit. Not bad, under a minute. I'm not gonna lie, yeah, I kinda wish it was that warm here. It was like, warm today, but I wonder what the weather's gonna be like. New record. Tomorrow. 66 tomorrow, that's not too bad. I'm ready for warm weather, even if I can't go outside and enjoy it. Brain Mighty debuted in Son Sega Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, that was it. An arcade game which used a trackball. And they had logos for both the US and Japan because they didn't know which ones they'd use. But yeah, that's, uh, that's Sonic Mania. We'll do another stream of that soon. Probably, hopefully tomorrow. Probably not because knowing me, I'll, sh I'll uh, flick out on it. But yeah. I had fun tonight, uh, between this and Animal Crossing. Would like to do some social Animal Crossing at some point, like, get other people to, like, visit and stuff. That might be a fun stream. Uh, anyway, thanks for coming, everyone. I really appreciate it, as always. Uh, I will see you maybe soon. I don't know. Who could say? But yeah, you have a good, you all have a good night. <laughs> Bye-bye.